Shut up. I like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Debbie. Hey y'all, this is Shaz and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and leave something nice in the comment section. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for continuing this journey with me. I really do appreciate it. So it is March 8th, it's Friday, and I have shut my laptop closed for the weekend. So I think this may start my Dallas vlog because I plan to leave in the morning. I've already started like packing uh, thinking of some outfits that I may or may not need girl packing for just in case because you just never know you never know if you don't know me you probably don't I'm from Dallas originally and I live in Houston so I'm just go home for a little bit visit with family and friends that I haven't seen what else girl I just had a brain fart anywho while that's getting back to me we're about to get ready to go on a hot girl walk. We're probably gonna go to the same trail that I went to in my previous vlog. I've been liking that trail lately. I haven't been able to get my steps in as much as I'd like to this week, girl. My body has been punishing me for not being pregnant. So since Sunday, I have been out of commission. I've just been out of it. So these past few days, I've finally been able to like get up and move around and things like that. I actually tried to go walk yesterday, but as soon as I parked, it started raining. So <laughs> I don't know what it is with um, Houston and it's random weather. And usually it's not even random. Like you can look at the weather um, app and it's usually pretty consistent. But yesterday I did not see any type of rain in the forecast. So that was very weird. But I was also talking to my mom yesterday and she was saying that it was raining in Dallas. So it's not surprising that it came down this way. So anywho, we're about to get ready to go do that. And then we might pop into a few stores to see what we need and what we don't need. I would like to get a new luggage, um, a new suitcase because the handle at the top of my big one is broken and <laughs> that's where most of my clothes go in so usually i have to lift it up from the bottom to put it inside of my car when i should just be able to pick it up from the handle but it's broken so um if i can go inside of burlington or marshall's or something like that and find me something that would be nice so yeah girl um let's Let's go do that. Girl, I wind up getting this e.l.f. lip gloss that's supposed to be like a, a dupe of the Dior. And I don't care for it. I don't care for it. Usually, like, when I see a dupe of something, I would like to start with the cheaper version first to see, like, mm, what am I getting myself into. One day, I may try the Dior, but, girl, I'd be okay with the, <laughs> the clear lip gloss from the Beauty Supply that's just fine with me also speaking of starting with the cheaper version of something first i don't know if i already said that the lip gloss was by elf so i also picked up some of their blush as well i have on the orange right now and i also picked up a pink one hey girl and your friends bad too oh you got the swag so she dripped the swag too you were bad girl and your friends bad too oh you got the swag so she dripped the swag too I haven't tried the pink yet, but I've been trying the orange for the past few weeks and girl. The compliments have been coming in. Like I'm usually the type of girly where I'll contour my face. You know, I use like a, you know, like the brown contour or whatever to chisel your face. But I haven't been doing that lately. I'll just do the blush and I don't know if I just look more approachable or what the case may be. But girl, the men have been approaching and I'm like, okay, let, let, let's try this out. Let's, let's start doing the blush. So <laughs> I actually do need to pick up a blush brush because the brush that I have, I don't think is supposed to be for blush. So we need to go ahead and get the right applicator, don't we? Yep. 
So, <laughs> so I'll add that to my list and I'll be looking, oops, I'll be looking for that today. So let's go walk. spontaneous stop goes but um let's see what have i been doing this week because i have not been talking to the camera this week but um yesterday i went on a walk with my friend chloe we went to katie trail and that was a good time and then she introduced me to a spot oh what is it called tequila social that's right off the of katie trail so i didn't even know that they made a restaurant i guess it's been a few years since i've actually walked that trail but um yeah girl we walked like a few miles nah three actually and then we stopped there and got us some food girl <laughs> walked off some calories just to eat them back on so uh did that that was a good time what's today just wednesday dang it's just hump day so monday what did i do did i not do anything i feel like i did something and it's not coming to me right now um but anywho sunday i wind up going out doing like a late sunday fun day me and chloe we went to vedora and then after that we went to like a bar up the street like um on deep ellum basically which i'll insert that clip now every second every minute man i swear that she can get it say if you a bad bitch put your hands up high hands up high hands up high tell them dim the lights down right now put me in the mood i'm talking about dark moon perfume go go I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know you taste this a little bit, mm, high maintenance, uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis, with poetic justice, poetic justice, I told you that a flower bloom in the dark room, what you trusted, I mean, I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen, better yet with your friends and him, I really wanna know you all. I really want to show you off. Fuck that. Oh. So that was Sunday night. And then, girl, Saturday, I touched down in Dallas like around 12 ish or something like that. Where are you going, sir? You know you can't fit over here. So, uh, ooh, it is traffic down here. Is there a game? I don't know. I need to go a different route. But, um, yeah, Saturday. Me and my brother went to go see a movie at Sinopolis down here next to American Airlines. We saw the Bob Marley movie.
right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bell In West Philadelphia, born and raised On the playground is where I spent most of my days Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool And all shooting some b-ball outside of the school When a couple of guys who were up to no good Started making Which, that was cool Would I see the movie again, though? I didn't care for it. They played their jobs well or acted their scenes out well or whatever the case may be. However you supposed to say it, them accents, they had them down packed to where I could barely understand the movie. So that's why I would never watch it again. But me and my brother had a good time just bonding with each other. So um, 10 out of 10 when it comes to that. And oh, uh, me and Peyton just left this place called Mex Mexican Sugar. Yeah. So that was cool. I love that. The views were immaculate. The food was good. I got marinated shrimp, but we really didn't care for the dessert too much. But it was a good time. It was a good time. So yeah, girl. Let's see how this goes. I'll come back with an update once I'm done chopping it up with this young man. Let's see how it goes. Okay, y'all. Today is the next day. It is Thursday, March something, but of course it will be at the bottom. The guy that I met up with last night, um, I had just pulled up to his place and had him come downstairs and we talked a little bit and it was cool. From there, he was like, you know, let's plan a date. So we just left our date. We went to Yard House that's in Las Colinas. I did want to leave a little bit early because they are talking about it's supposed to hail tonight and I did not know that. I feel like I want to go buy like a car tarp or something like that if that's even the name but I feel like I need to put something on top of my car but hopefully it don't hail but I don't know girl with me living in Houston I'm always seeing something about some hail going on in Dallas and they're doing damage so Hopefully the damage is only done like North Texas. Hopefully it don't come all the way down here to Dallas. So we're going to see. But I had a good time with him. Um, he was nice. Girl, if you're into Zodiacs, he's an Aquarius. And um, I've never dealt with an Aquarius man before. I have a brother who's an Aquarius. But girl, that's my brother. So I've never... Um, dated one so I've never really you know I don't know the characteristics for real he has a sense of humor about himself so I don't know we'll see where this goes but as for now girl we're dating we're just what are you doing dating isn't me like dating around and just seeing what's out here you know you're not gonna take nothing serious until it's supposed to be serious so yeah, girl, I'll check back with y'all um, when I'm about to head back home. Hey, y'all. It is Saturday. It is Saturday night, actually. Well, technically, it's Sunday because it is midnight. It is 1210, and I have been craving sushi for the past several hours. Yeah, I've really just been wanting something simple like a California roll or something like that. Which earlier today, I could have easily gone to like Target or H-E-B or something and gotten it. But I wasn't craving it earlier today. I didn't crave it until like maybe 9-ish, something like that. So ever since then, I've been kind of dragging my behind on getting out the house and getting me something to eat. So we're about to pull up to Kona Grill over here in North Park. I don't think they close until like 1, so it's only 12.10, um, so I should be good. And there's a lot of cars over here, too, so yeah, they open. Uh, so yeah, we're about to do that. 
So earlier today, woke up this morning, met Peyton at Yoke so we can put something on our bellies before we worked out. She introduced me to a new gym called um, John Reed. Um, I don't think it's like new, new, but it's kind of new to Texas perhaps, but I think it may be only like a few years old. Hold on y'all, let me actually park. Okay. Okay, y'all. So the John Reed gym, it had like, how can I explain it? So you walked in, girl, I really ain't got to explain too much. I got clips. So <laughs> let's watch those clips. a good old workout girl oh we I have really been neglecting like the upper half of my body and oh child girl Peyton was introducing me to these new machines not take not technically new but new to my body for sure because <laughs> I was struggling. I was struggling today, but we had such a good workout. Such a good workout. Um, so, did that, girl. By the time we left, it was storming outside. So, went straight home. I thought that I was going to go to the St. Patrick's uh, parade today. That's part of the reason why I came to Dallas because I wanted to actually experience like St. Patrick's Day in Dallas because I've always heard about the parades and stuff like that, but I've never gone. I I didn't think that us celebrated it or whatever. So, uh, hold on, y'all. Who the hell? Okay. I thought they was backing up um but they're just backing into their parking spot but yeah i really wanted to do that today but the thunderstorms messed that up so we'll try for tomorrow we'll try for tomorrow i honestly thought that today would have ended my dallas vlog but it seemed like we're gonna be outside tomorrow which i'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be out because it was people out today but i'm pretty sure like the rest of the crowd that was gonna go out didn't come out because of the rain so yeah girl are they open? Oh, I hope they open. Okay. Yeah. Let's go eat right quick and then we'll come back. <laughs> okay, y'all. Just got done eating. Nothing to really brag about. It was a simple California roll. I sat at the bar and it was another guy there. He was there by himself. So uh, we were chopping it up, having a little conversation. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, just a night out, girl, a solo trip to go get some sushi, and that's about it. I'm out here with all these drunkards. I forgot what time it is. Girl, it's 1.21 right now, and I'm out here with all these drunk folks just driving crazy. So, I'm about 
about to head back home where it's safe. I will catch back up with y'all. Hey y'all, it is Sunday. Well, technically it's Monday because it's like 12.30 right now. But hey, that's the life we live. I'm leaving my friend's house, my Isha. Haven't seen her this year, which is crazy. I had just joked with her the other day, like, girl, I ain't seen you all year. So, got to see her today. So, we went to Sidecar Social, had us some girl talk, some much needed girl talk. at home so i've also been watching love is blind this season seemed very much messier than the other seasons very much so messy i need to watch the reunion i haven't gotten there yet i will say that i'm not necessarily disappointed that ad and clay didn't make it you know to marriage i do want to see black love but i guess i could somewhat see the signs that it wasn't going to make it so I understand like, you know, you're in the pods and you can't see a person's reaction to things. But I feel like when AD told Clay that uh, she was also interested in Matthew, so that's when Clay found out that he was in a love triangle, you could kind of tell that he was blowing up. And if you can't, couldn't tell that he was walking in circles, of course you can't see that, but you can tell in the escalation of his tone, I feel like. And you can tell that you know he's talking faster, he's talking louder, and he's not—he's not accepting. <laughs> he's not accepting his position in this uh, situation. So I would have took that as a red flag already. Like you don't know how to control your emotions, and that would have been it for me. That would have been it because watch your tone talking to me. So I think that would have been like my first thing. And I don't know. I didn't like the fact that he kept calling her baby all the time. I don't know, from my experience, I feel like when a guy keeps calling you baby, then he's not really remembering your name, and you're just one of many. So, he's calling you baby because it's easier to remember baby than it is to remember AD, and it's very much so easier to not get mixed up and call you another woman's name. So, I didn't really care for that, but of course, that would have been my own red flag. That's not her red flag. What else? I think that's about it but I did notice once they got to the altar at some points like he's smiling so of course I know that the camera is going to only catch certain parts but the camera did catch the parts where he kind of looked unsure and then he'll try to hurry up and cover up his face and smile so I feel like he has a deceiving smile he really does he's one of those that's very handsome and his smile is going to cover up a lot 
I think another thing may be when he was bringing up his parents' traumas or, you know, how they didn't make it and stuff like that and kind of putting it on him as if that's his reality, then that just shows me that you need to go see a counselor and you need to talk that through. You need to, you need to talk out some things because there's obviously something that you didn't agree with and that you're still holding on to that's going to mess up your future relationships. So, that's just my opinion on that. Oh yeah, when that girl was talking about she looked like Megan Fox, in some way I could see it a little bit, but girl, shut up. You don't look nothing like no Megan Fox for real because that boy got excited once. He was like, Megan Fox? Like, you look like Megan Fox? Like, you could see his whole mood just shifted. Like, he was so happy.